I've learned uh, in the last year on the first 48 volt power supply conference here um, that it's very good uh, to have a possibility or forum more or less um, to answer questions on all the users and other OEMs for the LV148. It was started like five years ago when the German OEMs Audi, BMW, Daimler, Porsche and Volkswagen uh, sat together and found out that it's good to have a standard for the 48 volt system. And that's how we started. And uh, all the other OEMs and all the suppliers were not involved at first. When we started the process of standardization of this 48 volt, which was a completely new topic, um, we could not imagine that it would be such a high impact um, that it had some because at first we had the need to make a kind of a standard that's uh, suitable for all five OEMs which were involved and uh, we found out that we are not alone in the world so there are many other people many suppliers many other OEMs who wanted to use the same standard too. At the moment I'm very lucky that we have this VDA recommendation. We, we uh, took a lot of time last year um, to um, make discussions with the VDA, with, uh, with the members of the VDA who were who interested um, with different suppliers who had several um, changes to be made to the LV and um, that's the reason why we came out with this VDA recommendation. And, I'm very proud that we have this recommendation right now. When I look at the response I get, or the, the answers last year at the conference and, and the workshop, I found out that also Korean uh, automakers are interested in this topic, Japanese automakers are interested in this topic, and I think that they will use um, the st same standard also. Why not? It's like an open standard. People burn money by using different standards. So my, my, thing, my uh, point of view is that when we have a standard, and the standard has to be early enough, everybody can adopt to this standard and can use it, and that's it, and, and it's fine.